He's 195 centimetres, 122 kilos in the old language. That's six foot five, 19 stone, three pounds. Born in Tonga. Plays for the Blues, plays for Northland. 47 tests so far for the All Blacks. One try, All Black number 1150. Offer, welcome back to the programme. Now you've been in the squad, you've been out of the squad, but hopefully over those niggling injuries, yeah? I had a little, um, some nerves stuff going on on my shoulders and neck, so I took some time off. Um, yeah, obviously t- taking time off, players comes in and, you know, like those players have, have played really well. It's just a matter of, you know, just getting myself ready when the opportunity comes. And and are you totally clear of those injuries now? Yeah, yeah, I need, needed a few weeks for the nerves, nerves to settle down, so, um, Took about three, four weeks off and then played a couple of games for Northland and, um, yeah, back in camp this the last couple of weeks. So got some good trainings in and, yeah, looking forward to running out on Saturday. So uh, just just explain, so that must be quite scary when you get nerve damage, especially in those areas. Yeah, um, so obviously uh, not not the big, the spinal cord, but just the, the two little ones that comes out to the shoulders to the arms, so I keep getting stingers, and yeah, just needed times for it to settle down. Yeah, took took, took the the time off, and now I'm back back full training. It's always must be difficult though when when you you know whatever reason you have to walk away, and as you say, let somebody else back into that side. And 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 Fletcher's been playing well too. Let's be honest. Yeah, look, look, that's the the reality of our jobs, you know. Like, and the moment you think you're here. It's basically probably the the start of the, you getting out. You know what I mean. Mm. So being in this environment, you you can't take everything for granted. You know, there's there's always someone behind you. You can always be replaced. So having that mindset, you know, like yeah, like I said, that's the reality. Um, when in, injuries happen, there's there's covers coming in, and usually, you know, nine out of ten people take the opportunities, and that, that's just that, that that's just how it is. Didn't take it that bad, but. It is what it is. I just needed to get back into on, on the horse and be ready. Off of Tawanga Fasi with us. So what's it like hearing your name again, though? What a buzz that must be. Um, yeah, it's always always special. Just even being in the environment is, you know, you just always have to pinch myself that there's hundreds, if not, no, not hundreds, thousands of other, other kids that would love to be in, in, in the room. So um, every day I, I'm, I'm grateful. Going into this match against Australia, what do we have to prove? How 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 important is it to you and to all the guys in the team that we win this one as well and 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 play well? Uh, for us, is, is I think it's just about um, putting a, a performance out there that we we can be proud of. Uh, obviously, last week was in you know played really well in patches, was in uh, for the whole eighty. So this week, um, if we can try to play well for the whole game, then, yeah, that, that'll be something that we can review and be proud of. I think that's what we're all looking for, isn't it? We keep using that word consistency. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Obviously, we, we played played well for parts of the game, put a lot of pressure on, on, on the Australians, but, you know, there's a lot of cracks in, in you know, discipline, unforced errors, just let them back into the game. And, you know... Um, we know the Australians well. Once, once they you let them in, they'll be hard to you know to get the pressure back on them. So uh, that'll be our focus for this week. Yeah, it's been that kind of a season, hasn't it, mate? You know, I mean, I don't have to tell you. We all know, hasn't it? It's just been that kind of season. Yeah, well, obviously it is what it is. You know, we've had some few good games and obviously a few not so good ones, but uh, we. Just looking forward to this week and making sure that you know it'll be a like I said before a performance that we can look back and you know, be happy with. Well, for how do you how do you take the the down times and the lows because there's extraordinary highs in your job getting named knowing that you're running out there for your country all of that kind of stuff mm-hmm. the you know the opposite end of that is that the lows are terrible aren't they? Um, look, it just depends on on the person. You know, I'm different from everyone else in the room. And for me, rugby is my job. Like I'm a father first. You know, I'm a son. You know, rugby is a job for me. And depending on on what it, how it is, 
look, I'm, I'm different, like I said before. The reality of this game is, you know, there's highs and lows, there's expectations, and, you know, when time comes, it's just up to the to the player on how they take it. But if you're if you're ready for, to take both, whatever comes your way, then it won't hit you as hard. If that makes sense. You yeah, know? yeah, of course it does. It, of course, look, and and um, my two are older now. Um, but uh, I know when they were little that you come home after a day's work and it, it doesn't really matter what happened at work during the day. They're the same. They just want to see their papa. They want to see their dad, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Again, uh, you know, all, all the very best. I hope you play really well. I hope you seize this opportunity. It's so good to hear that, uh, you know, the, the, the issues that you had with the nerves and things which we didn't know about have, uh, have, have come right. Go out and play hard and play with lots of pride for us, eh? Thank you. Thank you very much. I will. I right, appreciate it.